Welcome to the final video in this series. So far we've looked at how easily we can blend exposures using Raya Pro. Now we'll see how Raya Pro can help us create even more beautiful images after the digital blending process. To begin with, we have a number of color correction options. We go to the digital blending panel at the bottom and simply choose autocorrect. And as you can see, auto color often does an excellent job of removing strong casts like the blue cast here. Another very useful tool is Color Adjust down the bottom. By choosing this, we can change the brightness of our image based on color. For example, the sky is a little bit too bright in this image, so we can bring down the cyan slider and we give the sky much more drama. We also have manual color correction and we can convert our image to black and white. Now let's look at some other adjustments that can give our images immediate impact. For example, with a photo like this in green foliage, if we press Autumn, we can create beautiful autumn colors and we can change the opacity to whatever suits our need. If we want to boost any individual color, we can simply go down to Vivid Colors and I'm going to choose Reds and I'm going to boost the color. But I'll bring the opacity down to around 30%. Next, we have four different autumn effect options, which will give our images a very dreamy, magical feel. I'm going to choose autumn effect 2. This pop-up allows us to manually choose how strong we want our Orton effect. Once we're happy, we simply press OK. And now our image has a magical feel to it. If, however, you feel the highlights are too overexposed, we can go down to Apply to Shadows and press 1. And this will apply all of the adjustments just to the shadows so that we're protecting our highlights. Next, we can press Glow Free and choose a white paintbrush. And we can give our highlights a soft glow and I'm going to increase the opacity just so you can see it. We're just painting in a nice soft glow around these highlights. And to finish, we can make a nice vignette. Now I'm going to group all these to show you a before and after. This is the image before the adjustments. And this is the image after just a couple of seconds in the Raya Pro panel. With Raya Pro, we also have two dodge and burn options and two detail enhancers. For example, if I just run DB details, a dialog will appear like this, and this will allow us to control how strong we want the detail extractor. And I'm going to leave it at about 16 and press OK. Now I'll zoom in and paint in the areas where we want to extract the detail. This is the before and after. And we can paint on the side here as well just to add a little bit of extra detail. Again, that's the before and after. And you control how strong you want this detail enhancer. If you want just a soft effect, you can lower the opacity. If you want a stronger effect, you can increase the opacity. We can also create a beautiful warm glow in our images by using the third Orton effect. If we just press OE Warm and choose the right strength, let's say about 45 and press OK, we'll be left with a beautiful golden glow. Now, again, if the highlights are a little bit strong, we can apply this just to the shadows. And if you want to soften the glow slightly, we can just lower the opacity of the Orton effect layer. And there's the before and after. When we're coming towards the end of our workflow, we can choose to clean our images with a number of functions like reduce noise, sensor dust, and clean CA. With this image, if we just press sensor dust, a strong black and white image will appear. And it doesn't look like we have any sensor dust over here, but when we make the reveal sensor dust layer visible, we'll see we do have some spots there and a softish one here. So the sensor dust function is excellent for showing us any unwanted marks in our images. If you find you have some strong chromatic aberration in your images, like the red edge along here, we can simply go to Finish and click on Clean CA. Then, with a paintbrush, we simply paint along the edge. And we can completely remove the chromatic aberration. To give the panel even more depth, we have a section here called Your Action. Essentially, you can make these buttons do anything you want. You simply record an action and you can access it in the Raya Pro panel anytime you wish. And to finish, we can prepare our images for the web with an extremely powerful web sharpening tool, which also resizes your image perfectly and changes the color profile to suit the web. Now that's a brief summary of what the Raya Pro panel can do for you, but it's capable of so much more. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching.